previously. Oh, this is so fun. The first All Stars Challenge had our teams flat out for charity. Wasn't that hectic? That's really cute. I love that. It's got a beautiful energy about yeah. it. And the winners, Phil and Amity. Yay! Got to crack the first safe on the block. I wonder what it is. Are you nervous? Oh. What was in there? $7,000. Oh. oh. Welcome back to the block. <laughs> Tonight, first room to show Australia what we've got. Our all-stars rush to get their rooms ready for reveal. There's a lot of work to be done yet. But as time runs out... They don't fit. That is going to be a problem. They won't be ready for judging tomorrow. Disaster strikes. Door can't go on. Why? I just don't think we'll finish. It's I can't handle that. And there's no pity from the judges. Big no-no. You know what? I can't even look at anything. I'm going to walk out. The winner of the first room is... but a beach for our master renovators. Just five days into work on their heritage homes in one of Australia's oldest and most famous suburbs, Bondi. There's just over 48 hours until the first ever Block All-Stars room delivery. Well, there's five other couples that say they've won the Block. There's only going to be one couple that says they've won the All-Stars. In House 3, master renovators Josh and Jenna have had an early start. We've been up since 5 o'clock. Um, Jenna wanted to paint last night, but I twisted her arm and said we'll do it in the morning because I'm... Because you've been lazy. We haven't no, done any late nights. I'm a nights. firm believer in the religion of spraying because uh, once you spray, I'll never touch another paintbrush again. So <laughs> the plan is just to spray it all white and um, obviously do the glossy skirting boards um, as per the heritage code. While marriage seems to have matured our 2011 block stars, they still love to agree <laughs> to disagree. I am dreading spraying. No way, it's dreading. the best. No, 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 Yeah, I but it's it. the best for you because you go gun ho and don't worry about the aftermath. Can I spray and you clean up the mess? Imagine it because I'm it rolling. <laughs> yeah, but you're it spraying too. I'm not. I could spray. Don't roll. But Josh can't roll. Don't roll. So he can't roll or he can't spray, so I don't yeah, know. It's a lose-lose situation. No, but I can get up on the ladder. Yeah, but I can reach the corners with a spray gun just by doing this. So yeah, but that's why it drips, because yeah. you're so close. But you're impractical because you're short. <laughs> Room reveals in two days. Most likely we won't be getting any sleep. We might get a couple of hours no, tonight we will. if we're lucky. We'll be sleeping. I don't think we will, Jenna. But that's why I wanted to start last yeah, but night. but it never happens. But last night you promised me that we'd get sleep. That's why I wanted to start last night. Well, you'll be getting sleep, but I didn't say how much. Okay. I'm divorcing you. <laughs> After finishing second in the block 2012, Dan and Danny spent some of their $448,000 prize money on a lavish holiday. Now, it's back to business as usual, block star. Dan's been asleep for half an hour, and Danny, after four hours sleep, is fresh as a daisy. Dan wants to spend Saturday um, out back doing structural stuff. So he doesn't want to have to do anything in here. So I think today he's just got to take all of the old door furniture off and um, hog it up. And then it's my job to sand the door, paint the door and do the windows, which have been the most annoying part of this whole process, basically. Yeah, I've got a bit to do today, but it'll be fine. Because I've got tonight as well, so. After a decade off the block, Mum and Dad team Phil and Amity came into the game a little rusty. But a win in yesterday's first challenge, Phil and Amity, has given them just the confidence boost they needed. 
Look, we've hit the ground running. Yeah, uh, we've, we've hit our stride. Like, I've got my mojo back. I was a little bit shaky in the first few days, thinking, oh, what do I do? Help, I've lost all my ideas. But they've come back. See, it catches the light like a mosaic does and has that yeah. beautiful texture. Yep. And see, this was... That was my picture that I was going off. Right. Um, but even less... Busy. Sparkly. Yeah, mm. a little bit of sparkle, but not too much sparkle. Mm. So I've got this bath. I've got. Oh, I've got so many things. I'm going to have mirrors and lights like that. It's just going to look it's amazing. We've got our mojo. We're on a winning streak, so we just want to keep, keep this good vibe going. Then I had another idea yeah. yesterday. I was on fire just yesterday. Yeah, I really good. was. <laughs> I just woke up on fire. Amity's brainwaves aren't restrained to the bathroom. She's planning ahead for the living room as well. What if on the other side of it, so the living room side, we did that, a Jetmaster yes. fake fireplace. The telly above. Telly above. Yep. And then look, that is that exact then. tile. And the good thing is you're actually carrying bathroom Correct. to living room to... Yeah. It's just all tying in. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. versatile. A yeah. versatile. Brilliant. <laughs> Best mates Mark and Duncan, the two fat tradies, have fallen down in the past on their design, but are determined to make amends this time round. Last night, we, um, I was happy because I managed to get the grey all the way round, and so I thought it was late. Mark and I stayed up till about two doing all the painting, and I said to Mark, look, you get some sleep so at least one of us can deal with the trades that come. And I said, I really want to try and start the wallpaper so I know if there's any problems, because I've never done it before. I've mixed up the glue. Now with this wallpaper, apparently, you put the glue on the wall and then you put the wallpaper up. So uh, I'm glad I did because this wallpaper, it just no matter how how you just carefully put the joints together and line it up, you can still just faintly see the line. And I just think it'll be dog's breakfast to see wallpaper where you just see that faint line on every joint. I uh, went to bed and at um, six o'clock I had an absolute brainwave. Uh, I forgot actually one of my very good mates hangs wallpaper for a living. Magos, Magos, I need a massive favour. Uh, can you get to Bondi? Yeah, this afternoon, five. I need your wallpapering skills. I've had a wallpaper disaster. Yeah. See you this Arvo. Bye. Well, good morning. Oh, morning. How did it go? I wouldn't say I've um, stuffed up. I think we're the only ones to wallpaper, so I want it to look, I want it to have a great impact. Um, and the essence of the whole thing is, I can't afford to make a mistake because I don't have enough wallpaper. With only two days left to completely restore a century-old room to its original heritage condition, time isn't on anyone's side. And with three of our four teams being out of towners, they're sticking to what and who they know best, even if it's hundreds of k's away. We've ordered a lot of stuff from Melbourne, including our bedsides, artwork. This is just a print that turned up uh, via courier from Melbourne this morning. It's a uh, one of our artists that we know, Andrew Doyle. Well, Sydney's got some great stuff. We just don't have the contacts to sort of get that delivery time in and uh, get that discount. So I reckon about 70% of our room is from is from Melbourne. So we use a lot of contacts from there. there you go. Yeah, they look after us with delivery times and and they always help us out with taking floor stock and that sort of thing. So so very cool, bit abstract. Yeah. It's pretty easy to sort of uh, to favour them. Over in house number four, Dan and Danny have taken it yeah. one step further. It's a beautiful room. Oh, here's the bed head that we're using, the right. colour, the fabric. So that's wow. peacock. Fantastic. Rather than courier their favourite artworks up from Melbourne, they've shipped in the artist himself. So this is bedroom two. We used an artist in our house on the last series of Block. His name's Andrew O'Brien and I'm in love with, with a lot of his work, most of his work, all of his work. My view is you kind of do an, an art form in here that's kind of very modern, maybe a beautiful piece of photography, oversized. I contacted Andrew about doing some stuff for this house, so he's kindly flown up from Melbourne to potentially put together, you know, something for the entire house. Oh, wow. Well, this room is, is the focal point of the transition from the old to the new. So this is going to be the transition from timber oh, to wow. polished concrete out here. Fantastic. 
because of the long, long corridor, yeah. we should do something that really thinks about the, re the relationship from the front to the back right. yep. and how we draw people right the way down through into the, into the body of the, yep. the house. Well, you know the, how the block works, mate, and we've got two days to room delivery, <laughs> so can you get two pieces of artwork in we're time on, for us? We're on it, mate. Yeah, we're on it. <laughs> Just slap them together. Where's the spray That's been put away in the cupboard. That's not coming out again. No, no that was no, a disaster. No, fair enough. I can see the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Morning. As the reluctant head decorator of House 2, Duncan's role involves a large amount of shopping and therefore driving. So you'd think a born and bred Sydney boy would have the hometown advantage. You're lost again. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, uh, well, that's true, I am lost, but... In fact, um, Duncan might be the world's worst navigator. <laughs> but he does have a secret weapon. Yeah, so now I need to go from 26 Parsons to 901 Burke Street, Waterloo. Oh, OK. Lucky for Duncan, his wife, Jen, is tracking his mobile phone online. So I can... I'll head over the, um... The, um... And that bridge? That's the one. But. Well, I'm going along a road that's going to the airport. I think I've got three seconds. You'll be turning right? Roger that. <laughs> I can't believe you can't drive around Sydney. I'm still in the car. Like, I knew you weren't good, but I didn't realise that you really have no idea. I have no idea, no. <laughs> well, thank you, Pet. I'll, um, I'll call you, I'll call you tonight. No, you'll be calling me in an hour when you need to get to Bondi. That's true. Coming up... No! Things unravel for Dan and Danny. It feels like we've let it go. Being a block all-star isn't an easy gig, as well as focusing on their front bedrooms, which need to be delivered in less than two days, the teams need to be across the entire build and stick to stringent heritage guidelines. In house number three, the Josh and Jenna machine is prepped and ready for launch. Lucky I'm taping up, otherwise you'd be doing a terrible job. Uh, so stressful. So, it's off to the Mitre 10 shed for matching spacesuits. I'm suiting up to go to space. We should go to space furniture with these on. <laughs> that was the worst joke I've ever heard. I'm going to space, Benny. Cut me some slack. I'd tuck your fringe in. Can you? Or is it too out of control? Oh, it's got to sit there. No, here, let me do don't it. Don't touch me, Jenna, please. <laughs> don't touch me. Let me tuck it no, in. No, don't touch me. All right, let's go. Our age is minus 2,900. <laughs> Roger, we copy. That's the earth straight out our front window. <laughs> Don't overtake me. <laughs> Houston, you're looking at our delta. Uh, that's affirmative. Program alarm. Looking to get that, over. Jen and I spray painted our whole house in probably two days. So, look, it's very quick. Um, it might take me a bit to get back into it because I might have a few drips, but I've got old, um, old Yeller here to, to follow me up with the roller. Why am I old yellow? Did you yell at me? Delta 8 is looking good now. Delta 8 is looking good to us. 60 seconds. Ice on. Okay, Houston, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Oh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Oh, it's already open. Josh? Cover it. No, it's already done. Quick, get a top cloth. It's under the wardrobe, it's fine. J -j -just, just wipe with the drop sheet. Yeah, it's fine. Careful where you step. Yep. Like, really careful. Houston, uh... Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. This is block one to block two. First room is a go. <laughs> <laughs> no, In house number one, Phil hasn't touched a drill since 2003. And it shows. So he and Amity have enlisted the help of builder Brad to manage their reno. Um, Brad, I completely trust you to do a good job, as I would have trusted you, darling. Oh, OK. But I just think it's good to know when somebody knows what they're doing and let them do it. OK, well, Danny better go and do our shopping then. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I think we'll be talking about that one later. <laughs> but as they say, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a week. 
but teach him to fish and he'll stand an outside chance of hanging that 50 kilo mirror on a hundred year old wall. First thing we've got to do, Bart, is I'm going to hand you the drill. Oh, you're not. And you're going to go nice and slow. <laughs> oh, right. Straight into the wall. OK, see how it's darker? Oh, red. It's red, it means we're going straight in the brick. So drill away. See how tight that is? It is, isn't it? Wants to bite hard around the bolt. Gotcha. And then it's just a matter of turning it around. So look, I'm doing this myself. I've got Brad here. Brad's actually teaching me. I've come to the point that Brad can't do everything around here. I've actually got to do something. But the most important thing is, when I'm here, it's coming out of your budget. Let's get the mirror. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I caught that. Okay, oh, okay. I caught that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jeez. You all right? Yep. Okay, there go. What do you reckon, Brad? That's it. Let's have a look. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Thanks, Brad. No problem. Good man. Yep. Look, this mirror is sensational and it is a really important feature for the room. We had to really hang it properly and get it in position. Now, teacher said exactly how high she wanted it. But she's renowned to changing her mind. She, she may come back and want it a little higher. And Brad's not here and now I know how to do it, though I think I'm confident I could do it again. How to drill. How to clean up a spill. Green. While Phil's learning the basics and chewing through a month's worth of cleaning supplies, across town, Duncan has had a win for the old blokes. Here I am at Dug Up on Burke, and I tell you what, unbelievable. Wow. He's on the prowl for some old black and white pics of Bondi. It's unreal. Imagine them hanging down from the living room. Oh, that's unreal. Uh, I'm obviously no different to everyone else, so I was about to sit on it. Do not sit on it. <laughs> I've forgotten now. <laughs> Absolutely can't remember what I'm looking for. Say, I give that performance a one. Here's oh. some photos. Oh, you found some. I don't think they're Bondi, but it might pass off for Bondi. Oh, then my glasses. I think that goes that way. <laughs> see, I, I said I need my glasses. Oh, yes, I see it now. But the highlight by far, that is unreal, was my massive propeller I've brought. That's not your everyday wall art to bolt to the lounge room wall, or any wall, actually. Uh, and we're Bondi. It's all about boats, sea, water, spray in the face. Well, we are in the master bedroom, aren't we? <laughs> he came for photos. He's leaving with something no home should be without, a life-size replica propeller. So I'm quite excited, and at least I've gone back with something. So it hasn't been a totally empty trip. Coming up, Mark and Duncan's secret styling weapon. It's very impressive. It's certainly unique. I've never seen one before. And later in the show, Danny crumbles under the pressure. It's It's exactly the same as last year. I can't handle that. It's only five days since our block all-stars moved in, and less than two days until their first room delivery. As always, time is of the essence, and it's all hands on deck. In house number four, Chippy Dan's expertise is coming in handy. So I've had a little win this morning, probably the first one of the day. Um, this is the door from the front room, the master bedroom. Now, there's all these dead bolts in there that I'll have to take out, patch, sand, which could take a couple of hours. So I've just measured up this door, which is what we're not going to use this door anymore. We don't really need a door here. So I'm going to use this for the front door. Yeah, look, a bit over this week. Um, I think the window, trying to get it sanded back and all the skirtings and arcs, it's taken it out of me. And working till four this morning and only having three hours sleep, I'm a bit over it at the moment. To be honest, I can't wait till I just get out to the back to the new build. That's where I want to spend most of my energy on. But you've got to get through these front rooms first, so you just got to plug away. It's no secret Dan and Danny have an ultra-modern style. So they're finding the hard slog on this heritage restoration a little tough to take. Meantime, decorator Duncan is back to what he does best. G'day, g'day. Uh, just here to pick up uh, the wow fan. Okay. Wow fan? So... Is that the collar? Collar. 
see, there was no doubt, was there? Well, of course, this is the WOW fan, and uh, it's been guaranteed for that WOW impact as soon as you enter the room. It's very impressive. It's certainly unique. I've never seen one before, so uh, if I can put something in that the judges also have never seen before, I might actually get a good response. The first one is the WOW fan. Wow. See? And... <laughs> Holy crap, Batman! <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, well, that puts another spin on things, doesn't well, it? So you reckon our ships come in? <laughs> so did you screw him down on price? Could propel us into favouritism. I'd like to do the construction as well. Uh, as in, I would, I prefer not to do the design. I'd much prefer to have my wife here to do the design parts. Uh, but one of us had to do it because when you get two doing it, you just end up with this room that's a dog's breakfast because you just get a bit of this, bit of that. Uh, and as I said to Mark before we came on, hey, why don't we, you, I'll do a room, you do a room, I'll do a room. But I think Mark's keener just to look after the construction. So yeah. I'll take the abuse. I hope it fits in the bloody house. Wait till the rest of the ship gets here. <laughs> have full faith in him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely full faith, 110%, throttle down, away he goes. Dan and Danny's visiting artist has returned with the goods and hasn't failed to please his two biggest fans. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful teal. This will work in the room beautifully. They all work, they're all amazing. Mm. That is, that is amazing, amazing. They're beautiful. I think they are stunning. They are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Beautiful. They are stunning, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's just something about them. So where do you want this one? On the mantle there. I like that. That is so beautiful. As the sun sets over Bondi, our teams are getting ready to call it a day. But in house number two, the hard work is just beginning. Duncan's called in the experts to sort out his wallpaper debacle. And with less than 36 hours until room delivery, he better hope they can work fast. This is my good friend Magos. Yeah. Good man. Thank you. So this is the one I started at four in the morning. And <laughs> uh, I just wasn't 100% happy with it because I think it's a hard wallpaper. Is it an easy wallpaper? Can you do better than that? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. That's great. That's all I want to know. So, can you use that one? Should we do it properly? <laughs> My concern is we're going to run out. Okay. What I'm getting at is... We can't buy it. No. These are, the, it takes three weeks to get any more rolls. Right. And judging is on Sunday. How many? Ten, I think, yeah. Yeah, it could be ten, yeah. So, with limited time and a finite amount of wallpaper, the boys get to work tidying up Duncan's mess. So what's the problem? Secret. You can tell you. Oh, secret. Oh, it's a trade secret. Yeah. You know what we found out? What? We only need five rollers. Five? <laughs> <laughs> Look, obviously, and I'll admit it now, <laughs> I can't calculate it, I can't lay it. <laughs> Wallpapering is not my thing. Don't take it too hard, mate. Even the experts come unstuck sometimes. Yeah, being so occupied without the back, I oh, completely forgot that we had to replace the floorboards, the ones that are damaged, so... Stegma come in and installed this cabinet, so now I've got to work under it and try and replace it. What would it take me five minutes is going to take me about half an hour to an hour, so... Yeah, a bit of a mistake, but that's what happens when you've got to worry about what's going on out the back. You forget about the little things in here. And it's those little things that have plagued Dan and Danny all week long. It's just been a nightmare. The worst decision we made was to strip back all the paint off the window and skirts because it honestly hasn't made them look any better, but it's, and it's taken like 50 days longer. We really want to have all of the paint stripped and sanded by the end of today. I still have to work out a way to get the paint off. So all I've got to do is around these things, and it's ready to undercoat tonight. Well, you wouldn't read about it. I think I've finally finished sanding the window. The window that's taken me about four days to bloody sand. And 
Yes. You are going to see the first bit of undercoat going onto this. And boy, I can't wait. There she is. It's about one o'clock. Fading very quickly. I've got a big day tomorrow. Uh, I've got to finish the room and um, I've got to... I've forgotten what we're going to do. The couples have just one day left to complete the first ever rooms on the Block All-Stars and they all have their suspicions as to who poses the biggest threat. I must say, I, I think Phil and Amity uh, are the ones to look out for. I think they've proven themselves in the first challenge. I think they know what they're doing. They've had a lot of experience and I'll be keeping an eye on their room. What Dan and Danny did in Melbourne was really gorgeous. I thought their styling was really gorgeous, but I think the heritage thing has thrown them. Look, I don't think we're going to win this week in here. That, come on, no, uh, you've got to say, yes, we're going to win. Yes, we're going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear that. We're those. striving hard. We're, we're striving for a win. It, well, the only style that no-one knows is ours, because That's I don't know right. if you can actually label do it as a style. The, do you know the style? Leave them. Well, we like Leave to say, the originally... Mushroom, mushroom style. Leave well, them originally, the I think we said uh, contemporary with a splash of uh, retro, but the, oh, apparently okay. that doesn't exist, so it we didn't do that You said the word rectum, I thought, last time. Contemporary with a splash of rectum. He's a working around it. It really doesn't take long to get down that line, does he, really? In house number three, newlyweds Josh and Jenna have high hopes for their week one room. I'm really excited. We think it's going to be one of the best rooms we've done, bedrooms we've done, should I say. So hopefully we can pull it off. The fee for our bedroom and our whole house is our style for sale. I've kept it simple, minimal and very neutral because we're hoping that it's going to appeal to a lot of people and it looks very expensive too. They've already had their floorboards sanded and polished once but a white milky stain has come through. So they've made the last minute decision to redo them. It does mean they'll be locked out of their room for at least half the day, on the day before delivery. The first time these floors were sanded, the polyurethane didn't take, which is the clear coat. Could have been because maybe, you know, 50 years ago, someone spilled some turpentine here or some oil. It's just soaked into the timber. So what we're going to do is we're going to try sand it again. So how long do you think it's going to take just to sand this and put a stain on it? And we'll start it. to finish in the first section, like yeah. one hour. Yeah. And then after that, we have to wait one more hour and then put the final color. So Leave it to it, mate. Thank you. No worries. Awesome. Thanks. So basically, we're taking a gamble because this could happen again. But I prefer to give it a go now than once all the furniture's in and we've got to take everything out again. So there's no better time than now. Our room is due tomorrow morning, which uh, you know, we're running out of time. We've got so much to do. We've got to hang the curtains and the hinges, as well as the fireplace. Yeah, I don't think we'll be going to bed before midnight tonight. This week, Dan and Danny have spent a lot of energy and focus on planning the back extension. For them, this is where the auction will be won or lost. All of the other couples have decided to get builders, but for us, our main concern is not having enough money to actually complete what we want to. So that's where we need to save on the builders and on these bedrooms, because at the end of the day, the bedrooms don't sell the house. Dan's decision to be his own builder has been good for their budget, but it has made for a busy Dan. Because we're doing the build ourselves, you've got to spend so much time out the back. You don't really concentrate on this room because you can't really get in here and get stuck into it every day. I reckon we would have finished already if we didn't have to build the back on our own. It's just a pain, is it? Yeah. Danny's just returned from an early morning run to Mitre 10 with some extra wall paint and bits and pieces for a special feature which Dan will also be building. These are high mattresses. This is just a table that we're making that's going over the end of the bed. And literally, you can move it up if you want to have breakfast in bed or have a tea or read a book sitting up or put stuff on at the end of the bed or move it to the side um, against the wall. Everything in the room has to be done. I don't want to have to go in there and redo anything in that room. Most of the couples have purchased brand new fixtures and fittings, but Mark and Duncan have decided to rejuvenate the existing ones. It's a restoration, not a renovation. Anybody can renovate, but restoring it, there's a hell of a lot more time involved. Cleaning things up and stripping off the old paintwork, but you've got to admit they look pretty good. Last time I was at Balmain Restorations, I noticed that all these uh, bits of furniture for your doors and the fan lights, the door fan lights and that, they cost a fortune. 
I noticed that the others are taking theirs down and they were just going to be thrown away, which is a huge shame. So I thought, look, I'll ask them if they're not going to use them whether I can have them. Because Mark and I are recycling all the furniture, door furniture and whatnot, if you're not using any, can you throw it in a box? Because we were going to take parts off ones that are all right, because yeah, yeah. we're trying to save money there so we can yeah. spend more on the furniture. We want to try and preserve as much as we can. Reuse it. 250 bucks. We've got one, two, three, four doors. $1,000 out the window. Literally out the window. I just keep throwing in the garden. What, is there other ones? There could be anything in there, mate, under that tree. Oh, this is the throwing tree? Yeah, I'll just straight out the window. Oh, OK. So you just don't mind if I take it? No, all yours. Excellent. That's exactly the piece I'm after, Phil. Oh, that's good. Might have saved 200 bucks just by picking up rubbish off the ground, basically. This week, Mum and Dad team Amity and Phil are using Bondi as their inspiration and are going for a bright and breezy beach feel. It's all about planning on the block. That's what we're good at. Like, we might not be good at the trade side of it, but we know how to run events. And with two children, it can be organised chaos at times. That's it, you've got to be organised. You've got to be organised. As hard work as this week has been, I still don't think it's as hard as being at home with two children. <laughs> I really don't. That might be so, but block life does throw up its fair share of challenges, as Phil is about to discover. Our window mechanism sticking out too far. That is going to be a problem. She just put the wrong one. You reverse roll it, but you still got only 50 mil to reverse roll down. And that's a good 100 mil there. Yeah. Oh dear. Hi. Just smile as I tell you this. Oh, uh, what? You know our mechanism for the top window, how it sticks out about 10 centimetres? Yeah. Remember the blinds are flush? Yeah. If the blinds yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I could take the mechanism out, but I'd just lose points for that on judging day. Unfortunately, you've got a problem here. You've got to have a solution for it. The only solution for you right now is find a different mechanism. That's cost us so much money, too. I can't take that back. That's like $1,000. Yeah. Actually, the, the original was a flat mechanism. So it wasn't invasive? No. The one that I've just given to Duncan, mm. maybe it's because he wants a flat mechanism because he's right. got blind. Mm. So I might need, need to get it back. You might have to go and knock on his door, mate, and say, can I please have my uh, mechanism back? Well, Phil, my friend, you better be quick, cos Duncan's on his way to sell your mechanism. So how much is one of the restored ones worth? 250 They're rare as hen's teeth, really. They are. You can buy new ones in brass, but they don't look as good as these. They're meant to be bronze. That's so that's how all the original ones So worth. it's ripping out something that's 100 years yeah. old to replace it with something that's not right? That's not, correct. Not period. Yeah, that's right. He's going to give me 40 bucks each for them. If I can grab 10, there's 400 bucks. My big uh, propeller was only 300. Paid for the propeller, just like that. And all I did was walk outside and, and scavenge through the garden where they'd just been tossed out the door. I've got another 10 of these I reckon I can get. Well, bring them down. We'll buy them off you for sure. So I could get, you know, 400 bucks. Absolutely. That pays for a lot of light switches. It does. Yeah, Thanks for that. No worries at all. Thank you. Thank you. They're 100 years old, and it's a bit of a shame to just throw them out. So if I can bring them down here and someone else can use them, they're getting rarer and rarer. And anyone who wants to renovate their house now has the opportunity to put in stuff that's of the same age. Coming up, Phil loses it. <laughs> and later, so does Danny. It's exactly the same as last year. I can't handle that. First ever All Stars rooms are revealed, and the judges don't pull any punches. Big no no. You know what? I can't even look at anything. I don't care. They should be bringing their A game, and I think they've brought their D. In less than 24 hours, our All Star teams must have their very first rooms complete and ready for judging. <laughs> The front window has been Dan's gorilla this week, and it's beating him down. I hate restorations. Can't stand it. Give me a renovation, but restorations, are just, it's not me. Out with the old, in with the new, that's what I like. That's my style of renovating. He's already spent hours sanding the window frame. 
but is only now getting to work on the finer details. And Mark's worried he might have left his dash too late. Dan's just sort of starting the work on his windows and sashes. I've been at it for three and a half days, really, on ours. Um, there's so much work, and it's so finicky. I'm fine on top of it now, but I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be much behind where I am on it, because it's, uh, it's going to really come back to bite you in the bum. I hope he gets it done, but he might struggle. There's a lot of work to be done yet. I'm sick of looking at this window. I'm sick of everything to do with it. I just pray some kids out there on the street playing cricket and then the ball comes and smashes all three of them so we can get brand new ones. Josh and Jenna are back from shopping to discover that the attempts to polish out the stain in their floorboards has failed. Is it worse? Uh, in some places, yeah. That's fine. We knew it could happen again. Yeah. It's in at the perfect spot anyway. Lucky. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, we've got a bed going over the top of it, <laughs> so that's fine. We could have covered it in carpet if it was in a really obvious area, but that's always going to be a bedroom or a living room, and you're always going to either have a rug or a bed over it. It's not the block if you don't push yourself, so <laughs> we want it to be stressed. Back down the other end of the block, Phil's about to get hit with another setback. This time, it's his wardrobe doors. So why, why can't these go on? Has there been an error at the manufacturer? I really don't know. You're going to ask the guy. Yeah. It's not going to look too good with no doors on it. We found out that the doors don't actually fit, so they can't go on and they won't be ready for judging tomorrow. Amity's not going to be very happy when she comes back and um, sees that there's no doors on the built-ins. She's going to say, the doors have to be on. Uh, make it happen, they've got to be on. So there could be some favours to be asked shortly. So Sean and our electricians come up with an idea of actually lowering uh, the floor, so by actually cutting the floorboards so that the doors to the built-in fit. It's softwood, see? No good? Crazy. I mean, I never, never crossed something like that. If you go from this side, here, this one, in this way. Hey, we're doing everything, you can't do it, can't do it from this side. <laughs> With respect, I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy puts in 300 buildings a year. I suggested that they put them in that way instead of that way. And he looked at me and said, please respect. I started to laugh. You know, those uncontrollable laughters you get. So that, it didn't go down too well, and it all kind of went a bit pear-shaped from there. Are you still going? Oh, we're all still going. Gosh. What, is there a drama? That they don't fit. <gasps> but it seems all they needed was a bit of gentle persuasion. They fit. Fantastic. Just um, put your bags in. Everything's oh, going great. Put it in the middle. Has it been traumas? No, everything's good. <laughs> I just had to... <laughs> out of the room. <laughs> and close the door. And they got on with the work. Here we go. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> you know, you, uh, you saved me. No. No, 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 from the, my wife. She go, <laughs> she go crazy. Sit in. The TV's going to be from here. <laughs> yeah, it's better there. It's fine. Do we need it? You want oh, that, yeah, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why do you want TV? So you can we watch just, TV. He just thought it would be a cool idea. Oh, you're not happy in bed. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh. I thought it was a little bit direct, really. He said, why, why do you want an entree when you have your money? <laughs> so while Phil takes a moment to compose himself, next door... Schmigow, eh? Our two fat tradies are taking a moment to admire their window treatment. Never seen in five series of the block. Plantation shutters. Put it this way, at least we didn't have to put up curtains. No. Ugh, curtains. We just can't do that. No, that's not really us, is it? No. Another thing they don't have to worry about is painting, because the wallpaperers are back to pick up where Duncan left off. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks just like I had it, hey? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't have one of them. 
I have brought in the uh, professional uh, wallpaper guys. Even I can look at it and see that maybe my first attempt wasn't unreal. And I'm so glad I stopped after three runs because it could have led to huge problems if I'd kept going. If that's not a winning room wallpaper, I don't know what wallpaper would be. That is fantastic. The cupboard's great, the colours are good. Wait till this fan goes up. The shutters. The only thing that can wreck it now is my furniture choice. Dan and Danny have already painted four coats on their walls, but it seems they haven't paid enough attention to their prep work. And now their plan to paint out the imperfections with yet another coat is backfiring. Talk about the walls. We're never buying a heritage house, ever. Nothing that has to be restored. Out with the old, in with the new. It makes me want to cry looking at the wall. Yeah. The paintwork is highlighting just imperfections that didn't want it to highlight. I just don't think we'll finish now. But by you saying that, now you're in every frame of mind of not finishing. Why don't you say, we're going to finish and then just get it done? It doesn't make you feel better. It makes you <laughs> You get <laughs> at me for no reason because I'm standing here painting a window. Well, apparently it's all good. We'll finish. It's not all good, but you need to have a positive frame of mind, Dan, because being negative, constantly being negative, affects me and how I'm feeling about the room. It makes you Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. It'll be a zoo in here later on. Coming up... It's absolutely amazing. The judges cast their critical eyes over the first ever all-star rooms. I hate it. I've also just spotted something not great. This is all-stars. A week one room really has to be equivalent to, like, a week ten room. Totally. Yep. The judges are about to compare and select a winning room. Download Jump In from the website, compare and select your favourite all-stars room in our People's Choice competition and then watch for the interactive update at the end of judging. It could win you 25 grand from iSelect. It's just hours until judgment, and as night casts a shadow on the block, there's an unusual sense of calm in the air. So this is dinner block style. I've got some corner cement here, some paint and paint brushes. I'm sitting on a, I don't know what, some kind of Bosch tool. All in all, it makes for a really serene and peaceful dinner. He's doing a great job. Thanks, darling. Scraping that paint off the windows now. So we're going to give it one more coat. We thought we were done, but it'll all have one more coat. That was and my we're biannual done. Com uh, compliment. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get over sprayed, Josh, onto the tiles. Uh, There's tag trains in the day, dinner. Why I tell you how to do things because it's not like you listen. I should learn my lesson. Exactly right. It's been eight years and you never have ever listened to me. Well, you're obviously a slow learner. <laughs> I'm just really excited to put all the furniture in here because we've been working so hard all week to get it together and it's a whole new style for us. So first, the first room to show Australia what we got, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Big moment. Big moment. Da da. Oh, Look awesome. at that. Holy moly. Tell me you can't walk in this room and not say wow. Well. That's right. That is very impressive. Good reveal. That looks fantastic. Well, that was work. It, it really was worth the 10 hours it took to put up there. <laughs> <laughs> but up at number four, Danny is getting a case of the night before delivery jitters. I have to make a decision. Done so much work. I know. Danny's beginning to question her decision to use the same grey as last year and is considering changing it at the last minute. Is that colour in there going to affect the sale of the house at all? Think of that. Is it worth all this for that? Yeah, you're a bit emotional and upset because you're tired, but. It's. It's exactly the same as last year. I can't handle that. But it doesn't really matter in the end. Look what we're putting ourselves through, potentially going to ruin our bodies for the next week, stressing about this all night. That's what you've got to, like, you've got to look at the bigger picture in the end and look at the auction. 
this is a cool painting with cool colours, which means that you should have a cool wall colour. This is not reds and oranges and whatever, so a cool grey goes perfectly. And it's exactly what we did last year. But how well did you do last year? Exactly right. The thing is, you have your style, that's you. It doesn't matter if you do the same. It's not worth trying to go to Minor 10 this late at night, find the right colour, match it, drive all the way back and then start five hours of painting it at midnight or whenever it may be. You've lost hope, but you never know, the judge might love it. <laughs> Don't be stupid. So oh my god, she's done a fabric bedhead. Oh my god, she's done light grey. Oh my god, she's used the same artist as last year. Oh, oh my, my god. god, she's with the same boy. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it was only six oh months ago. Oh my god, ago. what was he thinking? She was such a crazy bitch. <laughs> It's the criticism of something like that, which I don't really want from the judges, but what can you do? <laughs> I went next door and it brought back memories. Bad memories. <laughs> Just memories of um, having a lot to do with only one night to go. Pretty happy that we're not at that stage. <laughs> Those guys are in a... We know that feeling all too well. Yeah, they're in a dark place at the moment. I really hope they can get it finished, but it's going to be a big night for Dan and Danny. So I'm here with the, um, the all-nighter crew. Dan and Danny are the new Josh and Jenna, and they're doing all-nighters. Stressing. I feel a little bit guilty that we're kind of just relaxing. 11 o'clock, Danny's doing the final coat on the windows and doors. I've finished all the walls. That's probably about the eighth coat overall. And I've just touched up the ceiling. Did you roll on the ceiling? Oh, just the patches where it needed to be. I think the whole ceiling needs to roll. Yeah. Look at it. The window slide came up very well. Look at that. It's actually almost too good. It just takes off. Good night for me. Good night for me. That's beautiful. Well done. Sleep time. It's 1 a.m. and we are doing the last little job, which is getting the paint off the floor where it's built. Good night. Turn it off. Good night, love you. Good night, darling. All the painting's done. I've just actually got one more coat on the door. And now I've just got to put all the door furniture and window furniture on. And Danny's scraping paint off the window, so it looks like we may, may just get there. Pulled off a miracle if we do, but um, yeah, I guess you always do. You have to do it, and it's the block. You can't not finish. All right, blockheads. The morning of delivery has arrived. And with just two hours until tools down, Josh and Jenna are in a pretty sweet spot. We're in bed by about 11, 12. Over here, we're like completely organised, got everything next door. It's like a, I don't even know, it's like a jungle over there. They've had to change their whole paint colour because it was mixed wrong. Come on, why are you doing this now? Nothing's just working for me this morning, nothing. Door can't go on. Why? Because I swapped them over. No! Can't you cut it down? I need to buzz it with an electric planer. Can't use it. No pounds all day. These are so heavy. <laughs> is it too high? It is, isn't it? It's ridiculous. It's just this big, stupid thing. I hate this room. I hate everything to do with it. I hate it. We didn't respect restoration enough, and it's come and bit us on the bum. There was no RESPECT in this room at the start, and now it feels like we've let it go. Now the biggest challenge of all, to get a doona cover on a doona. We have to take those legs off. This looks ridiculous. It's too high compared to that side table. If you want to get rid of them, just take them off That's now. That's what I'm saying. It's your okay. call, and you made the call. No. Okay, and it looks ridiculous, but yeah, you, okay. you're cool. always right. Done. So. That looks pretty good, actually. That's not even. They're not even, babe. Okay, well, okay. I'll, I'll make them in. Okay. I'll make them in. Good boy. Well done. You just, like, want to run around in circles. Go real. Crikey, an hour to make the bed and two hours to iron it. 
Uh, what are you doing? I'm just, I could see some bits. That's better. Is that better, you loser? Yes, look at that. Just like the Colonel. Toes down. Awesome. Righto, right on. High five. Well done. That's the first it. room. First room done. Well done. Well done. Tonight, our all-stars will be judged by editor-in-chief of Bell magazine, Neil Whittaker. Interior designer from Selling Houses Australia, Shana Blaze. And top interior designer, Darren Palmer. First heads on the chopping block, mum and dad team, Phil and Amity. The look I wanted to go for is kind of beachy glam, so not that cliched, rustic, beachy look, but Bondi. I mean, Bondi is sexy and glamorous, but and fresh and colourful, but also a little bit effortless. It's all happening again. It's been ten long years since Phil and Amity have renovated, but even though they're a little rusty on the tools... Over the bed? No. No. They've managed to pull it together. Oh! <laughs> In terms of fitting the brief, I think we've really done that, and I think it's a winnable room. Oh, nice and bright. This is the couple, if you remember. Ten years ago, Shabby Chic was their trademark. Yes. Week in, week out. Mm -hmm. So they're far removed from that. There's a lot to take in, isn't there, when you walk into this room? <laughs> Straight away you go, what style are you trying to do? We're a little bit handmade, a little bit tropical. A little bit Milan. <laughs> what do you think of the mirror? I hate it. Oh, do you? <laughs> what do you really think of the mirror? Look, the thing is, if they built the room around the mirror, it would be amazing, but there's no sort of older style in what they've done their furnishing, and all of a sudden, they look like they've gone to Milan and grabbed that. I mean, looking around the room, there are some things that I really like. I really like what they've done with the window. I love the simple white curtains. And when I look at the fireplace, I think they've done a beautiful job yeah. there. The fireplace is divine. Like, everything looks really well finished. All of these old fittings, they look fantastic. And they've read their Bible because that's exactly the way they need to be installed. Remember that they haven't renovated in 10 years. Exactly. exactly. If they haven't been renovating, look how beautiful their Absolutely. painting is and their finishing and their details. So we've got to give them a big tick for that one, for sure. Coming up... I'm a bit speechless. The tour of judgement continues. What were they thinking? Is it stubbornness? Bring it, show me. I'm not being shy. The judges have already cast their critical eyes over Phil and Amity's not-so-shabby chic room. Now it's time to scrutinise Mark and Duncan's Alice in Wonderland inspired room. I don't think we could do a better room and I'd like to think it has a chance to win. I'd be absolutely thrilled if it did. But I suppose I'm still nervous about what the judges are going to say. With Mark in charge of the build... Let me out! Let me out! ..and Duncan, the head designer... Tell, is that not impressive? ..the boys have embraced the heritage brief and approached this week like a restoration, not a renovation. I'm happy. As you can see, that complicated piece at the top there, there's not one bit of paint left on that. It looks original. If we win, it'll be a great day for all the males in Australia. Especially the trade. That's the right. trade males. Every tradie should get behind us on this. This right? is for we every need, trade. We need you. We need your help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I sort of don't know where to look. I have to take it in. I'm a bit speechless. This is decorated. They've had a lesson in cushions. They've had a lot of lessons. There have been a lot of lessons since the last time I walked into one of their rooms. Let's talk about this chair. The Queen needs to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it's it got away. diamantes for you and it's grand. It's very Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? It's like very, size wise. Yeah. It's an extraordinary transformation. It's absolutely amazing. All the restored brass. They're the original ones. Yeah. See if it opens. I mean, look how beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that yeah. they've restored it. It's really authentic. It's beautiful. The plantation shutters are a stroke of genius. 
The window mm. looks it pretty does. much perfect to me. Absolutely. I mean, there's not a crack, not a mark, not a scratch. It is amazing. What do you think of their wallpaper? I love that they've done wallpaper. Yeah. This textured type of wallpaper yeah. is a really great mm -hmm. way to not have to re-render everything yeah. because the texture covers it. This room says quality, absolutely, which is kind of what you'd expect from the guys. They're builders, yes. they know their trade. But what they've laid over the top of that is this amazing sense of luxe. I mean, look at this clock. That's so Alice awesome in Wonderland. Like. Where did they find that? And I absolutely love it. Yeah, me too. Here's one thing to think about. Mirrors are tricky in that you have to consider what they're reflecting. They haven't finished the wallpaper above the row. Oh, oh. good pick-up, Dan. Very good. A wow. bit of a problem. Oh, boys. They've done well, but I think too much. I, to me, it's very overwhelming. There's too many elements in here that go bang into your face. They really do. I think the boys are going to need to learn the Chanel rule. When you walk out the room, take one thing mm -hmm. with you. The thing that we took them to task about all the time was that they couldn't style. And for Mark and Duncan to even think about the palette mm. is just extraordinary. Yes. I think we're going to have a really interesting judging this week. <laughs> yeah. totally. oh, really. And this is only the second room. All right, well, let's go to number three then. All right. <laughs> Next up for judging is newlyweds Josh and Jenna, who have gone for a modern and minimal look. Relaxed elegance is what I'd probably call it. Steering clear of the vintage and the cheap and the bright colours and just going for more textures and, and dark tones. And it just has that really nice, um, warm feeling about it. Mm, wow. The newlyweds have approached this week with cool heads. Last time we were on the block, it was very unorganised. We're just way more organised this time and it's uh, starting to pay off. And have drawn on their bank of renovating experience to pull together what they hope will be a winning room. I think our style's really matured now. Just like us. Just like us. So, look, we've changed a lot, and I think our rooms say a lot about uh, who we are now. Oh, wow. I love those floors. That looks fantastic. It's gorgeous. It's really a beautiful, elegant room. It feels really considered. When you walk in, it feels quite peaceful. I'm actually shocked. They're very, very restrained. Josh and Jenna have really grown up. I'm really loving those curtains. Those drapes too, the sort of pool on the floor, it's just soft. I'm even speaking slower and quieter because yeah. it's just sort of that quiet little room. Yeah. When I first walked in, I'm looking at those wardrobes going, what were they thinking? But now mm. I'm here, I actually quite like them. I think it's the handles are wrong. What I would have loved to have seen here is just touch sensitive. Yeah. How, how good would that have been? No handles Gorgeous. at all. If there's one criticism that I have is that it's so pared back yeah. that it would benefit from things like books or you know things that make it feel lived in. Restrained is hard to do. I think they've gone just that little bit too far because I couldn't stand having bedside tables like that. The function of that isn't right. I absolutely love the choice of rug, but the only thing I'd say is that I wish it was bigger. I would have loved to have seen it stretch further up to the wall. Portions don't feel quite right for the room. They've got a big chunk of the market covered here because it's neutral and beautiful and sophisticated and pretty much anybody will walk in and go, OK, I can relate to this, I can live in this. It respects the heritage totally, yes. but it feels really modern. Yeah. I'm very excited to see where Josh and Jenna go from here because this, to me, feels like a whole new Josh and Jenna and I think seeing how it plays out over the yeah. next few weeks and the rest of the house is going to be very, very interesting. And last but not least, Dan and Danny, who have stuck to their modern and sleek signature style. To be honest, I think we sacrificed this room for the sake of out the back, the new build, and we probably didn't respect this room enough during the week. It's been a hectic week for Dan and Danny, who've saved money by not paying a builder, but they've paid a price and have stretched themselves both physically and emotionally. In a nutshell, the last 24 hours is exactly that, peaks and troughs. You think you're going to get there the next minute, crying, don't want to be there. Were you crying? Not crying, you were. <laughs> the linen's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that throw. I love that pillow. I love the little hint of that colour in the flowers. Yeah. I like what they've done with the room. I'm seeing Danny's colour palette coming mm -hmm. through, which she's very good at. She's a good colourist. But... Have we seen all this before? 
I'm looking at this colour. I think I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. I've seen the art speed news before. I'm feeling like I've seen this room before. No door. That's uh, a big no-no. We've seen that. Now I want to go, OK, what else Pick is wrong? Pieces, yeah. What other detail? Let's yeah. not worry about the decor at the moment. Oh, my goodness. Have a look at the paint runs on that wall. Oh, yes. There's a second coat over that, oh. so they should have sanded that back at least before the second coat. Absolutely. You can tell that's a top one. I've also just spotted something not great. There's cracks in yeah. some of that glass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They put a new PowerPoint, but it's the wrong one. It's in the handbook. It has to be the heritage ones and it has to have a black plate. They definitely have to have black, yeah. yeah. OK, this is where I get frustrated. Is it stubbornness? I don't know. Or is it lack of ideas and thinking out of the box? I really don't think they well, lack bring ideas. bring it. I want to see it. And I've said that so many times. Bring it, show me. I'm not being shown. Guys, what do we think about the wardrobes? You know what? I can't even look at anything. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. They've got a mirror. Tick. Yay. This to me feels like a week one room in a normal series of the yeah. block. But this is all stars. A week one room really has to be equivalent to like a week ten room. Totally. Yeah. And it's not there. Yeah. It's a whole different series, it's a whole different time frame. They should be bringing their A game and I think they've brought their D. Don't forget our rooms are online right now for you to explore. The judges have inspected the week one rooms. Scotty, good afternoon. Hello. Now it's time to find out who's going to win the first ever All Stars room reveal. Pretty nerve wracking. The heart was racing. <laughs> it's every bit as tense as it looks on television. Yeah, it is. Well, here we are. Our first room judging. The dreaded blackboard is back with some modifications. I've been working hard. I've got pulleys and all sorts of things <laughs> happening. Now, I'm sure you're all starting to get in some quotes from your tradies, and you're all aware how important it's going to be to win these rooms. Each week, there'll be 5000 bucks up for grabs from our very good mates at iSelect. Now, make no mistake, this season, the judges are wanting professional finishes. You've done your apprenticeships. <laughs> You've done all this before. This is the big league. Neil, Shana and Darren compared all four rooms and selected a winner. Three judges, three scores out of 10. Winner of the room, highest score out of 30. I'm gonna start with Phil and Amity. The judges were pretty happy that your room wasn't shabby chic. <laughs> I well, wish everyone would just shut up about shabby chic now. Move on, people. It was ten years ago. Shabby Trends chic, shabby change. chic. I will never live it down. They're impressed with the high quality of finishes in your room. They also really like the window treatment with the white curtains and the blinds. They like the mirror over the fireplace, but felt it was a bad choice for the room. You need to think about your styling more. Mm. Mm. I was a bit disappointed with that comment because I thought I did pretty well. It's really hard to throw it all together. There's no time to stand back. Normally you would take your time. I thought I did all right with styling. Mark and Duncan. <laughs> when the judges walked into your room today, Shana, well, she felt like she was in Alice in Wonderland. Perfect. Exactly what you wanted. But once they'd taken it all in, they were incredibly impressed by how far your style has come. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys designed a room. You designed a great room. They really admire your bravery and sense of humour. They love the crazy chair and the big clock. They love that you had attempted wallpaper and the texture that it added. But looking into the big mirror above the bed, they noticed you didn't finish the wallpaper. Oh, I didn't think they would. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in and you can see it, you knuckleheads. Well, yeah, Where's we the stood wallpaper? back and went like that. Yeah, we can't see it, it's fine. Yeah. You thought they wouldn't notice? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, we knew the wallpaper above the cupboard was missing and we just didn't have time. But fair comment. Good judging. They were very impressed with the restoration works. The window treatment was near perfect. Overall, they liked your new style, but think that you need to show some restraint. 
Their advice to you is that you need to learn, their words, the Chanel rule. Coco Chanel. When you walk out of your room next week, take one thing out. Not the chair, though. The only reason that is because it can't come out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it was so good to hear that they were impressed by our bravery and how far we've come. That's all we wanted to hear. We just wanted to hear that we're doing something right and uh, it's everything we were hoping. So, look, I'm absolutely thrilled. Josh and Jenna. Your room created a fantastic first impression. They loved your new style and thought you were both really growing up. It must be marriage. <laughs> must be love. Mr and Mrs. <laughs> when we heard the judges' comments that they really liked our style and that we'd matured, that was great because that's how we feel. We feel like we've come a long way and I'm really glad they appreciated it. If there is one word to sum up what they really like most about your room, it would be restraint. You may have been too restraint. With the bedside tables, beautiful, but not very functional. And you need to personalise the space and make it feel more lived in. Dan and Danny. The judges walked into your room where the door should have been. And things went downhill from there. Finish on the wall, not good enough. Cracked glass in the windows. When the judges saw the PowerPoints in white, when your heritage guide clearly says they have to be black, you lost even more points. You need to read that book again. We knew we, we had to, but we just didn't we want didn't to. We didn't see it till yesterday <laughs> as well. This is the All-Stars. Yeah. yeah. Darren did say he liked your choice of linen. Shana and Neil were fans of the artwork, but felt like they'd seen it all before. Don't show them the same thing again next week is what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. You gonna learn from your mistakes this week? Yep. yep. This room has a lot of mistakes to learn from. Obviously, down the track, we want to please the judges with the big areas, but we kind of decided that we're not going to try and please the judges. We're trying to please the buyer this week. We made nearly $450,000 last year doing things how we did, so, you know... We're if... going to stick to that. Score time. <laughs> Okay. Now, you guys haven't seen this before, have you? But I've been working hard to improve this. I do it every year. You ready? Oh. Oh. Look, at oh. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I'll it's see you in a minute. Oh, no. It's going to stay there. Okay. okay. Phil and Amity. Mark and Duncan. Uh, Josh and Jenna. And Dan and Danny. <laughs> Scotty does the old. <laughs> and we know it's not good. <sighs> Scores are in. The winner of the first room on the block all stars with 5000 bucks winning by 1 point 1 point 1 point Josh and Jenna oh my god Good for you <laughs> We're just stoked that it's worked because that's what we're going to do the rest of the house, whether they liked it or not. So two thumbs up from us and it's going to be a good sleep tonight. In second place with 21 and a half points is Mark and Duncan. To only finish one point behind Josh and Jenna, who uh, obviously impressed the judges and came out with the win. I think they made we're a great speechless. decision. We're they made a great decision getting It's not off. often we're speechless. No, no. You'll go a long <laughs> way to find that. <laughs> Phil and Amity are third with a total of 19 points. That's the block. It's tough judging to get two sixes when we thought it was pretty up there. We've got to find something else. And bringing up the rear is Dan and Danny. 
And then on a smashing 14 points coming in last, Dan and Danny. Woo! Chumps! Dan and Danny. <laughs> I don't know if that's a record. Couple of fours. That is a record. Now, you've heard of the yellow jersey in the Tour de France, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. Worn by champions. Yes. <laughs> you heard of the green jacket in the US Masters? Yes. Worn by champions. Well, we have sort of a cross between the two. These oh, no. are the yellow jackets. Oh. <laughs> Worn by champions. Beauty. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. That nice. chump jacket is not going to suit me at all. Yellow chump jacket. Do your lippy before we you wear it. We must avoid the chump jacket at all costs. I think it's going to be too big. Chump time! We actually hold the record as most chumps. And I could actually wear this as a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really bad for Dan and Danny being chumps, but they're good sports, awesome sports. They didn't, they didn't care. <laughs> Next week, you guys are going to be doing your second bedroom. Another 5,000 bucks up for grabs from iSelect. I reckon we should all go back and have a think about what is going to impress these judges. They expect a lot. Good luck. Thanks, Scotty. Bye. Next week, we've got another bedroom. But there will be a door. There will be a different colour on the walls. There will be a different bed. So watch out. There will be different artwork. Judges. Tomorrow night... Ah, yeah. Preparations for bedroom ah, week kick off. Back on the block. But our team's minds are elsewhere. The heritage chimney is a pain in the bum. This is everything, this area. This will be the difference between a selling house. Until Keith brings them back to reality. There's strict rules and we have to follow them. So you guys have got to basically start again. We've got a room reveal this weekend. That's the block, mate. <laughs>